Two masses hang at rest from a spring, as shown in the diagram. The string separating the masses is burnt through. So this string is burnt through, so it effectively gets cut. Then the two kilogram mass will then accelerate downwards. The one kilogram mass, because of the tension in the spring and the reduction in the downward force with the removal of the two kilogram mass, this mass will then move upwards. Which of the following gives the accelerations of the two masses as the string breaks? Okay, so to start this, let's draw a force diagram. So we know that for the two kilogram mass, there is a downward force of 2g. So this is before the string breaks. I'm considering the forces before the string breaks. Everything is in equilibrium to begin with. So therefore the upward force, the tension in the string should be 2g as well to support this mass. Tension is the same throughout the string, so the tension up here will also be 2g. So the downward force in the 1 kilogram mass due to the string will be 2g as well. And the 1 kilogram mass also experiences its own weight, which I'll just draw to the left hand side. It is acting in the middle, but just to make things a bit clearer, I'll just put it over here. So if the 1 kilogram mass, which experiences two downward forces of total magnitude 3g, if that's in equilibrium, then there must be an upward force from the spring of magnitude 3g. Okay, so the question is asking us to figure out the acceleration of the two masses as the string breaks. So for the two kilogram mass, after the string breaks, the only force acting on it would be its own weight. So that'll be 2g downwards. That's after the string breaks. When a mass experiences only its weight force, then its acceleration would be 9.81 downwards. It's in free fall. So then for the two kilogram mass, the acceleration would be 1g. And then for the one kilogram mass, so the force of 2g downwards, that force goes away as there is no more tension in the string. So then for the one kilogram mass, we have a downward force of weight. And immediately after the string breaks, the spring is still extended by the same amount. And therefore the upward force in the spring will still be 3g the instant after the string breaks. The tension in a spring is equal to kx, where k is the spring constant and x is the extension of the spring. As soon as the string breaks, the spring's extension will still be the same as it was before. There hasn't been enough time for the one kilogram mass to move upwards. Hence the tension in that spring will remain the same, 3g. So, as you can see, from the 1 kilogram mass, there is a resultant upwards force of 2g. So we can then use f is equal to ma. The force is equal to 2g. The mass is equal to 1 kilogram. And therefore, the acceleration will just be 2g upwards. So then, that must be option C.